My name is Rapsi, and welcome back to Slay the Spy. We're going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to pop this Ascension down. Uh, so everyone's currently on Ascension level 11. It's time to get some achievements done. Now, I still do not have the achievement for getting 999 block on this save file. I will remind you, I've done all of these achievements before on the other previous save file. But on this one... We don't yet have that achievement, so I will be looking to try and get Barricade, Entrench, Body Slam, that kind of a deck going on. Uh, choose a rare card? Might get the Barricade super early here. Impervious obviously fits in this deck, but it's no offense, which is a little bit of a problem for us. I only got two attacks even left in the deck right now. Didn't manage to draw both of them that turn, unfortunately. Gosh, we're going to take a lot of damage here. This is what I'm worried about. The fact that we don't have any increased offense in the deck yet. Mm, no. Should I take a cleave for safety? I want to body slam as soon as I can get one. Okay, some nice potions there. Could help us through an elite or two. Alright, cultist. Take one damage here, and then I can kill you next turn with three strikes. Oh well. Got you this turn regardless. No... Okay, so I can actually just straight up murder the backliner there. And set up on the frontliner. Come on, and two strikes. Hey. Dex potion's obviously really good for us. We'll drop the weak potion for it. It's good for us in the long run, not right now, though. Uh, remove a card from the deck? Well, I would remove a strike, but if I do that, I'm going to kill myself against upcoming elites, so... I'm going to choose to upgrade the bash here so that I actually have the ability to fight these upcoming elites. And now I'm going to start upgrading some of these strikes. Now I am desperately looking for specifically the build that can give us a lot of block, right? I don't want to suddenly pivot and go to a completely different deck because I am hunting for specifically that achievement. So I'm okay with a run dying if it doesn't have the ability to get me what I need. I'll take an Immolate here just as a nice offensive tool. And since it's a nice offensive tool standalone, so I don't have to build an entire deck to start using it. Bag preparation, start each combat with additional two cards. Nice. Come on. Hey, they are the Sentinels. Lovely. Exactly the combat I wanted to find myself in. I'll accept the 9 here in order to play that, because I didn't want to play the Impervious and just double attack there. Uh, Red Skull, while your HP is out of below 50%, you have three additional strength as well as demon form. No! That's not this deck! Damn it! Well, I'll take a Searing Blow because, again, it's a single card win condition and we don't have many other cards to upgrade in the deck so far. Um, Happy Flower, every three turns gain an energy and now I can remove a strike. More than happy with waking the enemy up on turn one because I know that my next turn has Immolate. Actually, I'm okay with taking that hit. Because now there's a really significant chance we just kill the enemy this turn. Like that. The boot. Whenever you would deal four or less unlocked attack damage, increase to five as well as... You are kidding me. Give me some useful cards. Uh, okay, so I'm not going to be super defending that final fight. 
I'm gonna heal here so that in the next space I can guilt free upgrade the searing blow. But if we had the searing blow at the start of this run, we could have just done a searing blow run because we got a lot of upgrades over the course of this floor. I'm not playing the Immolate because I don't want to trash my deck this early if I can avoid it. Now I'm below half HP, getting a lot more damage out there. Pop the enemy back on the ground safely. Uh, defend. Immolate. I do need some damage out there. And yet again. I could throw the weak potion this turn if I need to. No, but we're actually saved. Thank you. Impervious from turning up, but unfortunately all of our other good aggressive cards also turned up in that hand, so... Come on, and... Lethal. No. Lethal. Energy potion as well as... <sighs> Gosh. Is this really going to happen? We're going to find no support for this over the course of the rest of the run. I'm going to take the Sozu for the extra energy. Obviously, I don't want to take Fusion Hammer because I already have the uh, other card that benefits from being upgraded multiple times in the deck. The Searing Blow. I can have three midline rests and one elite, or three elites and two midline rests. I think we'll go for that. Okay, I'm happy with putting an enemy on the ground here. The big reason behind that is because I will heal six at the end of this fight anyway, so I'm okay with taking this five straight up. Bye, enemies. Hello. I will take a Thunderclap now, just because it kind of is necessary. When I say necessary, it's just that it provides vulnerability in AoE, and we also have some very powerful AoE cards in the deck in that... Uh, in those, rather, two copies of Immolate. So it's extremely effective for us. No. Nope. All right, it, it looks like this just isn't happening. Pretty saddened by that, frankly, but... Oh, well, what are you going to do? Take this space to heal, actually. Apply one vulnerable to all enemies at the start of each combat? Okay. So what, this is ultimately just going to be a pretty quick run then, right? The intent was to make this into the build that I mentioned prior, which is to say Barricade and Trench Body Slam. But I have seen no copies of any of those, and it's hard to draft them if you don't find them. No, don't really want any of that. You've got the Darkstone Periapt. Whenever you obtain a curse, increase your max HP by 6. Special Relic? Yeah, 3 extra strength on turn 1. Why not? Mercury Hourglass, at the start of your turn, deal three damage to all enemies. God, we have a lot of AoE damage in this deck. Bye. What a good fight. Shovel, you can now dig for re relics at rest sites. Pretty cool. It'll never, ever happen, because obviously I'm going to be smithing the Searing Blow every single time. But, you know, it's, it's cool in theory. Got a perfect amount of money right now. Uh, do I go for Shrug It Off? Just a shingle shrug it off as a defense. Yep, I should have drawn before I used my first strike there. I could have gotten a lot more damage out. It's entirely my bad. Oh well. 
Takes us maybe one turn longer and no extra damage to kill the elite. Uh, Matroshka, the next two non-boss chests you open contain two relics, as well as... Yeah, I'll take a single copy of Disarm, pre-upgraded especially. Smith that Searing Blow once more. Great, neither of my AoE cards appeared in my first hand. Put me in a great position to have them there. Yeah, I'm more than happy with just defending as best I can that turn. Okay, here's the giant debuff. That's pretty bad. Hopefully the enemy doesn't decide to. Never mind, they decided to attack. A lot of burns in this deck now. Need this fight to finish soon. Got him. All right. Guess we just take offering for this deck. Lame. Uh, well, we're not going to be resting at any campsites ever. So we'll take the coffee dripper for the extra energy. You should definitely not bother going for the heart. It's just not going to happen with this build. We trash our entire own deck. You can see near the end of the previous fight that the seams start appearing at the edges really, really quickly. Take a true grit so I can burn some of those burns out. Have to lose the offering. Shame to lose it, but... Well... How's it happen? Okay. So I'm waiting for a hand where I can defend and then murder. That'll get it done. Uh, second wind. Exhaust all non-attack cards in your hand and gain seven block for each non-attack card exhausted. If I had more draw in this deck, that would be useful. But I don't. I'll have dazed in my deck when I get to that final fight. I'm just going to take a pommel strike for a little bit of draw here now. If I could upgrade those madnesses, I would take it, but all of my upgrades are already earmarked, so no. We're not going to be using immolate in this fight if we can avoid it at all because we don't want to trash our deck for later turns because this fight does just go as long as you have the... Uh, as long as the transient's alive. And it will be alive for five turns. Almost all of the time. So we can't just kind of outspeed them. There we go. Easy, easy transient fight. Uh, yeah, I'll take a Havoc. Specifically a pre-upgraded Havoc. If it burns out my Searing Blow, I'm in a pretty bad position because it is now my boss killer. But hmm, we'll see what happens. Great. Another Thunderclap does make sense for this deck, and providing vulnerability in AoE is really, really, really important come Dono and Decker time. Pantograph, the start of boss combat's heal for 25 HP, as well as the letter opener. Every time you play three skills in a single turn, deal five damage to all enemies. Okay. Yeah, so we'll kill in two turns' time. And those burns are on our discard pile, so we don't even have to worry about them until the next shuffle. And we aren't getting to the next shuffle, is effectively my point. Uh, Art Void, can only play any attacks during your turn. Gain additional energy next turn. Uh, do I want the brutality here? Actually, pretty, 
pretty okay with it. Yeah. Pretty good turn there, ultimately. Only taking five damage, and then... Yikes. This is not good, though. So the enemy debuffs me here, and I lose my vulnerability. Just enough for the kill. Regen potion that I don't get to get. Upgrade that searing blow yet again. Okay. It's plus seven searing blow. 61 damage for one energy. One. Sorry, two energy. So I'm splitting the damage here so that should I draw my Immolate in the next hand, it's nice. Much closer to lethal. <gasps> no, I could have just played enough defense and then the Immolate. Uh, it's okay. It's fine. Calibers. Obviously ridiculous with the build that I wanted to do. Um... You know what? I'll take a power through. Hey, nice. We're not going to burn the searing blow here. Good. Glad to see it. 144 damage searing blow. Casually. Let's stack that vulnerability high so that it's ready when we have our next searing blow encounter. Okay, and should be pretty close here to lethal. Beautiful. Ginger, you can no longer become weakened. Pretty good. Feel no pain. We actually will take it. Whatever card is exhausted, gain four block. Because that's going to be super relevant when Dono and Decker just start putting a bunch of... Uh, da -da -da, a bunch of... Days into our deck. Cool. the extra energy this turn. I am targeting Donu down first, but I'm still okay with removing the strength from them. Come on. Vulnerability. Nope. I should still set up the Feel No Pain when I have the opportunity because those days are already in our deck. Now, I'm over-defending this turn because it'll give me some extra defense for the next turn, courtesy of Calipers. Nice. Even with just an Entrench in this deck, because of the Calipers, we could have made this work. But no, the game decided against it. Didn't want to give me that. So 18 minutes and 45 seconds, that's a Searing Blow and... Uh, searing Blow and Immolate speedrun. Well, that's been our first attempt at the... What's the name of the achievement? Where are you? Statistics, character stats. It is our first attempt at the barricaded achievement. Uh, it did not go well. We saw literally none of the cards that could have contributed towards barricaded. Uh, unfortunately, the only other things that the Ironclad still needs to do are powerful, 10 or more buster in combat, and that's much better performed by the Silent. Uh, purity, having three or fewer cards in hand, draw, and discard pile combined, and typically you do that on a losing run, because you just burn out your entire deck with a Fiendfire or something like that. 
Uh, not the only way to do it, but the easiest, most replicable way to do it. Uh, Infinity, play 25 cards in a single turn. No, we were already drafting for a completely different style of deck, so the infinite can wait. Uh, focused, obviously a defect build. Neon, channel 9 plasma in a single turn. Yeah, obviously a defect build. Uh, defeat a boss on turn 1 can be done with a good searing blow setup. So that's one thing to consider. Uh, minimalist, again, that'll happen at the same time as Infinity for us and possibly even Purity if I end up with like two burning cards in there. Uh, Udonu, uh, we could have done that. We did get offered two feeds, but to take those feeds on the chance that, oh, we might have Dono at the end of the run rather than just have this naturally come when you're running a build with feed and run into Donu seems to not be the best way to do it, in my opinion, personally. Who Needs Relics can be best accomplished, I think, by the Ironclad, uh, but that, obviously, you need to dedicate from the very, very, very start, because typically you'll swap your starting relic for a boss relic if you want to do that one. Uh, Common Sense, beat the game with a deck containing no uncommons or rares, obviously wasn't going to happen in a deck that was intending to put uh, Barricade and Entrench in it, and my lucky day, win a daily climb. Well, I can do that one easily. Defeat the transient before it fades away happens with like a strength scaling or an, sorry, an infinite, a strength scaling or a poison scaling deck. Those are the only things that have the damage fast enough to take out the transient, typically. Ascension 20, that'll just happen eventually as well. All the rest of the achievements we already have done. For the moment, my name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Slay the Spire. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you next time.